Well, a rally marking eight years to Avera Mengistu's capture by Hamas is being held in the city of Ashkelon this evening. I-24 News correspondent Pierre Kloschandler is there for us right now. Pierre, the rally has not started yet, but you have been following the story of Avera Mengistu very closely for all those years. Give us a sense of the atmosphere where you are and talk to us about the hopes to bring him back home to his family. Look, in this city of 150,000 inhabitants, Gaza is a hot topic, obviously, because Ashkelon has been targeted uh, by uh, rockets uh, just uh, in late July in the latest round of fighting between Israel and, uh, uh, and, and Islamic Jihad in the Gaza Strip. So Avera Mangistu is part of a broader narrative in the city of Ashkelon. But obviously... Uh, you know, is a city of the town, and people tell us uh, that he's born to be free. Now, he's been in captivity for eight years, and the worst of that is that there is absolutely no news, not even confirmation that is in Hamas's hands. Um, there has been the release of the video in late June of Isham Sayed, another hostage in the hands of Hamas, a Bedouin Israeli. Uh, and you could see him bedridden with an oxygen mask uh, on his face and Hamas trying to hype the pressure on Israel by saying that the, uh, this hostage is, is in critical condition. But with Avera Mengistu, no one knows how he is, his whereabouts. We know that he suffered from psychiatric ailments, uh, before he crossed into the Gaza Strip. Nobody exactly knows what's going on, what's his whereabouts, his fate. So it's a very difficult situation for the family, obviously, and tonight, in about an hour, uh, there will be a rally. Uh, we'll see how many people attend, but it's a rally that is also sponsored by the Ministry of Social Equality, that is by the Israeli government, by the municipality of Ashkelon, by the youth of Ashkelon. So obviously everybody feels involved, but the situation has not evolved for the past eight years. And Pierre Hamas is of course also holding the bodies of two uh, IDF soldiers, Adar Golding and Oron Shaul. Hamas, meanwhile, is clearly in no rush to reach a deal for their return. And if it does, the price for Israel to pay would be quite heavy. Right, and Israel has set up a rule for itself, which is we will no, not go back to uh, the kind of negotiations that brought about the release of another Israeli hostage, a soldier, Gilad Shalit, in 2011, when uh, Israel released for the release of his soldier uh, 1,027 uh, Palestinian detainees, uh, some of them murderers, uh, terrorists. Uh, Israel has said many times it won't repeat that mistake. Uh, Hamas, on the other hand, says it wants to release 1,111 Palestinians from Israeli jails, the magic number, 1111. But... Uh, the negotiation is stuck. We don't know nothing about the negotiation. What we just know is what Yair Lapid, the prime minister, said a few days ago, that Israel is inclined to bring about 20,000 Palestinian workers from the Gaza Strip to work in Israel, which would alleviate yep. the socio-economic situation in Gaza. But he said that would be the cap if no issue is found for the release of the two bodies and the two hostages. Yes, and the tragedy for the families, of course, continues. Pierre Kloschandler standing by for us in Ashkelon. Thank you so much for that update. More from Pierre later in the evening.